Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? You know, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm, I am not so sure. And I don't know why I'm not looking straight at you guys. I cannot, uh, I'm looking straight at my webcam. But anyway, let's do a video short today, 10 boomer stereotypes we need to stop believing. So the first thing I would ask here is why do we need to? Is it just that maybe we ought to or we should? So this thing about we need to, uh, that kind of got my attention as clickbait. So this story is by Crystal Brown. Let's see what she's got to say. I checked the first one out and the other nine, I don't know the first thing about. And uh, look at this picture. So when you think about, think about pictures you see about your generation that are kind of um, maybe a little mildly offensive. This is, I know this is for fun. This is supposed to be for humor, but uh, wow, steam coming out this, uh, I can't even tell if that's a man or a woman. What is that? But boomers have been the butt of jokes uh, from younger generations for decades now, but we take a look at boomer stereotypes that we need to stop believing. We're doing this real quickly for two reasons. One, because I'm a defender of the 21st century. And the second reason is I actually think that in this woke generation that we have not done a very good job on age, okay? And uh, so uh, Bill Maher asked the question, instead of canceling other people, what are you doing today? That 20 years from now, people are going to be like, I can't believe they were doing that in 2023. And one is the way, sometimes the way we treat older people. So let's go ahead and look at this. So boomers cannot use tech. Tech These days, boomers are just as tech-savvy tech savvy as Gen Z, and they embrace the modern world and put their attention to detail and to learning new skills and competing with younger generations. So uh, granted, your mom may not be able to navigate Snapchat. So et cetera, et cetera. Well, I have a friend. He was just talking about his wife. She's like, totally intimidated by technology. And uh, so I think the answer on this one is somewhere in between. I don't think you can make a dichotomy here. I think that boomers are more tech savvy than they're given credit for, but I think Gen Z still got their butt kicked. Uh, so it's somewhere in between. So yeah, I think, I think it's a stereotype that's not true, but to say that we're, to say that, now I might be tech savvy, but that's anecdotal. To say that all boomers are as tech savvy as Gen Z, that's ridiculous, okay? Many of them are, but it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. So I kind of disagree. I mean, I know the point she's making, but these absolutes, just as tech savvy, you can't, you can't write that. All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, boomers are inactive. Well, that's that's not true. That's not true. I'm actually more active than I was when I was younger because I moved to a city where I don't need a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I moved to, I, I have a car, but I moved to a city where I can walk everywhere. And I came from a town in Arizona that was super hot and nobody went anywhere in the summertime. So now I've moved to Mexico and so yeah, I, sometimes there's a, you know, where I lived, people went to the gym. And now people here, they, they play a lot of pickleball and stuff like that. I don't, I don't do that. I just walk. But people swim and they play golf and tennis. So, um, yeah, I think uh, boomers are very active. And, and you know what? They also have time. They have time on their hands. So I think this is true. So I'll give Kristen the benefit on this one. Boomers are stubborn, um, often misunderstood as being stuck in their ways, but as they reach retirement age, they are keen to try out new skills to keep them entertained, as well as taking top new hobbies, boomers like, okay. So I heard this uh, young woman here say one time, um, she said she was expansive and her parents were contractive. It was a different way of saying, uh, I mean, it was really cool because uh, in her particular case, they were kind of talking politics a little bit. And she's like, well, my parents are liberal. I'm liberal, but they're contractive. I'm expansive. In other words, they're more, 
provincial and they like to hang around their neighborhood and their community, whereas she likes to travel and see the world. And I think lots of people are that way. I don't think it has a lot to do with age. Stubborn's the wrong word. Uh, is it Kristen or Kirsten that wrote this uh, article here? I think stubborn's just not the right word, but I do think some of us get stuck in our stories. Uh, I do a pretty good job of staying out of that, but I know people that you start to talk to them and you get to know them and you'll see them meet a new person and tell them the same story that they told you. They have a, I'm meeting a new person story. And some people get stuck in their stories, like that really defines them and they have a keen identity. So I think it's different than stubborn. I think people just get into habits, you know. But no, boomers are not, by and large, stubborn. Uh, I think children are more stubborn than, than boomers are. I mean, children are the most stubborn demographic. No, I'm not eating that. You know, that that's where stubborn comes from. Boomers are desperate to retire. Um, it depends. I, I know lots of boomers who will never quit working. They'll never quit where they're going to keel over in their office or on the road or wherever they work. And uh, uh, desperate to retire. Well, I think a lot of people are desperate for something else. I mean, the workplace just isn't as much fun as it used to be. Uh, psychologically, it's tougher. Uh, when you're working for a team that's, uh, or when you're working for a company that says, hey, team, hey, team, well, hey, team, team, and then you get an individual performance review. I asked one time, I said, hey, why don't we get team reviews if we're a team? They, they didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that question. Um, and, and office designs, and there's a lot of noise. Uh, that was one of the hardest things for me in the modern workplace was uh, you're on the phone and someone's leaning on your cubicle or something. They're talking to their, it's like, Hey, I'm on, you know, it's not a tumor. This is not a tumor going outside of my head. It's a, it's a phone. And, uh, it was just, you know, even a headset, it didn't matter. It's just noise and distractions. And there's always, uh, I think during the day about, uh, about 35 things that are going to happen that are going to try to make you unproductive that day. So uh, the new workplace is tough. I think everybody's, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people, doesn't matter what age you are, you're, you're anxious to get out. So yeah, maybe boomers are desperate to retire, but I think a lot of people of all ages are desperate to change their work situation. Um, boomers just like younger generations. No, no, I catch some of them. The, you know, they'll start some sentence with the kids today, and I always argue with them. I Just so you know that, I always argue. I go, do you really mean what you're saying? What do you mean? Well, think about what you just said. Do you really mean that? And, uh, and I'll tell them about my channel and how I uh, am a defender of younger generations. Yeah, I was married to a school teacher, and she really got me. If, if I was going to lean, she caught me before I got old. and. Um, she just loved uh, the high school um, students that she had and and got me jazzed about it, too. So it's really cool. Do you know I didn't go to the prom till I was 40? The story. Yeah. Uh, boomers are not progressive. Uh, that's not true at all. I mean, she's right. The author of this is right. Um, I belong to a community here that's very progressive. So it just depends on who you hang out, where you're, uh, who you're with. But no, nah, boomers can be very progressive or not, you know, but I don't think it has anything to do with age because I've met boomers who are much more progressive than young people who are not progressive and the other way around. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure age has anything here to do with this. Uh, uh, let's see, socially progressive. No, nah, nah, I don't think so at all. I think that um, you have to remember a lot of boomers lived in those times that maybe others have read about. So if you're talking about the civil rights movement in the 1960s, boomers lived through it. 
they don't want that again. Okay, so they're not, this isn't academic to them. This is like, yeah, it's time, time to get a, a new, uh, to get a new time here. Boomers are rich. Yeah, that's not true. Case in point. I call myself Americano sin dinero every time somebody asks me for money. Because here in Mexico, if you're white, you have ATM written on your forehead. And I just tell them, lo siento, Americano sin dinero. I'm an American without any money, uh, which is partly true. You know, I live pretty austerely. So, uh, yeah, I, I, it depends on where you live. You know, there's people here with money. Uh, but that's because they, a lot of them have to have money to live here. And uh, if you're in, you know, Jupiter, Florida or someplace like that, yeah, the boomers got money. But if you're in, uh, I don't know, someplace in uh, Arkansas or Wyoming or someplace, it might might not be, a, you might be in a place that's, you might have a little cabin or a little hut someplace. So I don't, yeah. Yeah, now boomers have had more earning years, right? They've had more earning years. So some of them may be doing better than younger people. Uh, but that's only a byproduct of time, and that's not anybody's fault uh let's see here how many more we got boomers don't care about the environment well they do um again go back to that thing about socially progressive if you're social progressive you want to know where uh you want to know where anything where the recycling centers are so um it is clear that younger generations are most active when it comes to fighting climate change and improving the environment, but many, many boomers are on board too. It's absolutely true. Uh, they may not shout about their activism on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, I think she's uh, right about that. And uh, Greta Thunberg here, I've heard many, many of my friends talk about her and always in positive terms. So, uh Again, but it depends on who you hang out with. But uh, my experience is boomers care very much about the environment. Uh, and they're they're aware of some of the failures uh, that they did. But failures have been multi-generational. So, um, yeah, the only thing I'll say about the environment is that um, I was talking to some friends here. I think as long as our system is capitalism, we have a problem. So I think capitalism, which has its pluses and minuses, I think a big minus of capitalism is uh, it's not helping the environment because we have to progress and build things and we have planned obsolescence and all those kinds of things. And uh, it's hard for us to change that in a capitalist society. Let's go to the next one here. Boomers are unhealthy. No, that's not true. This is a healthy lifestyle here in Mexico with a lot of fresh food. Um, the food actually tastes better here than where I came from in the States. And uh, yeah, yeah, but there's lots. In fact, actually, it's the opposite problem here. You got people here that are so uber careful about what they eat that it, that it might lean to ridiculous. Um, so, you know, I'm a person, for example, who thinks uh, fear about GMOs is overstated because I think GMOs have been around for a long time. Uh, I think a jar of peanut butter. Peanuts are gen genetically modified, and um, I'm not giving up my peanut butter anytime soon. So, you know, there are people here who believe things about GMOs or preservatives or different things. Or I don't know. I just hear people talk, and I think, like, well, you can go to the other extreme too. Uh, so here where I live, people eat very healthy. And like I say, if anything, they lean towards the uh, other side of the coin where they're actually uh, maybe um, uh, too much in the liberal camp about their food. Uh, but that's just an opinion. Um, the boomers I know are, the ones I know eat healthy uh, because they become more concerned about it as they age. So if anything, they eat healthier than some young people do. Because if you're working, you're grabbing a quick lunch, right? Boomer have no fashion sense. 
Um, hmm. Well, I don't see a lot of change with age here. Um, when it comes to fashion, I don't know. I haven't. Re I'd have to look more at it, but I haven't really seen. I've seen bad looks on lots of people. Um, dress creatively, keep up with trends. Yeah, I don't. I think she's right here. I think she's right about this, that uh, some boomers don't have any fashion sense, but young people, too. So you ever watch uh, Clinton Stacy's What Not to Wear? That's a great show. And, you know, they could find people of all ages on that show who didn't know how to dress. In fact, people tended to be moms and that kind of thing, uh, you know, a, a generation younger than boomers. And yeah, whether it be um, the midriff look uh, for men, which is not cool, or uh, your bra strap showing or whatever it is, it, it doesn't really matter what age you are. People just dress however. Yeah, I think she's right. I think the author's right here. And uh, that's it. So thanks for joining me. Her name is uh, Crystal Brown. I think she did a pretty good job. I'm going to give her a score of at least an eight and a half on here. I think um, objectively that she's pretty much on the mark. So I don't know how old her author is, but yeah, not a bad thing. And this is from a website called Mama of Five. And I'll post the link below in case you want to see it. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like or subscribe button if you like what I'm doing. It really helps. And uh, let's wrap it up. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.